Okay, welcome to Parker Automotive. Uh, we haven't been on in a while, but this is a good one for you. This is a 2013 Ford F-150 with a 3.7 motor. Is a water pump. Uh, I suggest that if you do the water pump, if you're doing it yourself, to get the parts from a dealer. Uh, uh, they have some up, upgrades on it, and one of those things is the pump pole. This is the new, this is the old pump, which is common, the bearing, the bearing's got play in it, that's where it started leaking from. It didn't leak from the weep hole, which is right there. It leaked at the bearing itself, so the bearing went bad. Um, and this is the old pulley, so it's a four bolt on the new pulley, on the old pulley. The new pump comes in, same exact thing, same gasket, except it's a triangle, or it's uh, three bolts. So they actually send you the upgraded pulley uh, with the new uh, pump, it comes in a kit. Now the bad part about that is, um, and that's what I wanted to bring it up, these are some of the pieces they don't send. And this right here is a seal. I'll show you, show you where it goes. It goes on the bottom of the timing cover. This is actually a seal for the timing cover, but it also seals the back of um, the water tube that comes through, which goes into the water pump, which is down here. If this was on there, there's a, there's a, a passover tube, which goes on the inside of the um, engine but it comes up to here. So what happens is this right here creates a seal for the oil and then also a protective seal so that I guess coolant can't rush back into the block. So anyway, um, and then what happened was I didn't, I damaged it here taking it out through the bottom, but as you can see, it was cracking already all the way around. So it might be good enough, there you go, there. It was cracked like this going around. So you might want to be diligent and check for that. And I'll show you where it's at. Another thing that doesn't come in the kit, this is the kit number, or this is the number for that seal, which we found at first, the only way to get it would be to buy the timing cover gasket, um, uh, the timing cover gaskets, which is too expensive, but they did actually find one. Um, this seal right here, this O-ring, is for the Passover tube, which is, I'm going to show you in a minute, but that's the number. So you got that. And, um, but the, the, the kit that comes from Ford does come with a new hose, which goes to the overflow, which is right here, which is kind of odd because, uh, it's too short. Yeah. Yeah, this goes to the engine. This is supposed to go to the deal, so I don't know if this is for another model. This is a problem with buying parts. Sometimes they modify things on other engines. This this motor right here, like you can see, the tube's too short. All right, so, um, gotcha. Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna have you look up here real quick if you can. Now, on this vehicle, you have, this right here is the thermostat housing. Right, this actually has to come off. The way that it's bolted on is on here. This is your water pump. It sets like that. Then this piece right here goes just like this. So in order to get the water pump off, you have to take the whole thermostat housing off to get to the water pump itself. Now the reason why I'm doing the video is because you gotta be really, this right here was all caked in. I got it all cleaned up, ready to go back in once I get this done. But if you can see, you might have to come on this other side. Okay, so we're looking down. Uh, there is, and it is steel, so we lucked out. Usually they try to do this um, with plastic, but this piece right here slides into here. It goes uh, generally just right about like that. So you gotta take this off to get to the water pump, which is down here. This is a water pump housing. This goes over top of the, the thermostat housing goes over top of it. The problem is, when you go to take this out, you gotta be very careful because of the thinness of the metal. How I, how I did it was, you don't wanna pry on it, you don't wanna bang it. What you wanna do is, when you get this off, is you wanna kinda slowly try to move, move it up and down. Just enough to get it to move, and then you can start prying on it. And as you go along, you know, then 
pry on it and then move it and then it'll come out. Uh, that one O-ring, the orange that I showed you, this one does not come in the kit, but this is the one that goes right here. That's the O-ring that goes right there. And the seal, which goes down in the bottom, which uh, lighten it up. This right here goes into the bottom of the water pump. That's that one seal. That seal right here is actually part of the timing cover. This whole piece is a timing cover. This gets pushed inside of here, and it not only acts as an oil seal for the timing cover, but it also creates a, um, a more of a permanent seal or uh, um, a a barrier that would stop coolant if it were to leak here from going into the motor. So it's got a dual purpose, but it's a, it's a pain in the butt to get out. I'm not going to lie. I probably should have took the harmonic balancer off, but um, to get it from up underneath of here, but I was able to get it out. It was like you can you seen on there. It was uh, um, already cracking. So like you can see, you can't tell that it's cracking. I cleaned everything. And when I looked in there with a mirror, I noted that uh, that I seen I put a little bit of tension on here, and I seen that it was cracked. So I just stopped there, and I had them get me the piece. Um, you're gonna have to. They're gonna. They're gonna say all the O-rings come with it. I'm telling you now. Replace the O-ring that goes on the seal up top, um, and replace that. It's a preventive. You know, it saves you from later on if it's your car from having to pull it all back off. Because the only way to get that off is to pull off the thermostat housing, pull off the water pump, which means now you gotta go buy another uh, oil, if it's new or if it's leaking, you gotta buy a new gasket and then put all this back together. So um, yeah, that's probably about it. Uh, if this video works out, we're probably gonna start trying to do a um, video where, do videos where I'm taking it off and putting it back on so I can show you beforehand. But here I'm not trying to teach you how to do it. I'm just trying to give you all the other things that uh, may be overlooked on some of these other uh, YouTube channels where they just show you the off and on. These are things that usually don't come off according to the dealership. They don't even replace them. That's why they don't even know that they're available but it's a preventive preventive maintenance basically because if you got it all apart you might as well take it out and put it back on the o-rings in some cases could take an extra time to put it on but um the time that it saves you from having to take it back apart and put it back together again because you could have done it the first time the right way you know uh that saves a lot of time anyway um thank you for watching parker automotive God bless you and God bless America.